Welcome back. You can see the entire trailer has been coated with the Raptor lining. My wife has spent a lot of time and several rollers and many cans of Raptor lining trying to get this very even. You can see the texture here. It's formed a great surface that you will see in the following video. Action. <laughs> so as you can see, we made a lot of progress in the last few days on the trailer. Um, we put the Raptor lining on, very similar to Rhino lining, uh, but we got it in different colors. So we did this light sand color, put that on over here. It's made this extremely hard and durable, we think. So <clears throat> looking forward to see how that is going to hold up over time. So we've got the 8 inch plywood and then the fiberglass and then the Raptor lining over that. So kind of a three layer. And then we're caulking around anywhere there's a a joint you can see we've gone right over the hatches and everything as well the vents are in here for everything we started to add some electrical so you can see the little clearance button lights here um, just little tiny things leds are wonderful we've added this box at the front that was kind of framed before a couple doors that open so on this side it's got the water heater and the propane still need to add some dividers in there to keep you know, fumes and things separated, but everything is there. So there's the two propane tanks, regulator, water heater will go right there. And then the other side over here. <clears throat> got a couple batteries and the excellent Victron solar controller with two 100 watt panels on the top. Um, I think I mentioned previously about the batteries. We're just using flooded batteries for now because they're cost effective eventually maybe we'll upgrade to agms or possibly even lithiums um, but for the time being it's the 85 dollar walmart batteries <clears throat> so this will all close up we've got latches that go on here this will all get camoed the kitchen is coming in here so my wife's been working on these slides so these slides will come out so you can start to see how that's going to work here we're fitting that stuff in right now <clears throat> this hatch will fold down just like this obviously a little kitchen area here uh well the kitchen actually the fridge stove everything will be there sink everything will be here we decided to do the sink fixed rather than the sink on a pullout we talked about doing the sink on a pullout originally in fact that was in the first few designs and then just realized with all the flexible piping for the drain and the supply hoses and all that it would just be much easier if we were put that fixed so that <clears throat> kitchen area is becoming fixed there so on the interior here you can see that the shower is pretty well done and fitted out and cocked now we got this uh, sliding shower door that comes across and latches just a little film and retracts in here so there's nothing that swings out because obviously not a whole lot of floor space in here <clears throat> We've made plywood for the two bunks here. You can see just this five millimeter plywood we're using that works really well. Plenty strong enough for one person on there with the one by one square tube steel frame and really, really light. Over here you can see uh, the, the plumbing that has been finished. Actually, you can't see very well because I have a bunch of stuff in the way, but all the plumbing has been finished. What you can see is this the frame on this arctic turn window that we have up here now so we've got the shade that comes down from the top and the screen rather and then the blackout shade from the bottom and again those attack clip together and will move so it gives you a lot of adjustability pretty low profile frame you can see the cables coming from the solar panel up here <clears throat> On the outside, not necessarily a lot new to see other than that Raptor lining everywhere. We've doubled up on tail lights, brake lights, and backup lights everywhere. Um, just so when we're carrying different things on the back, there will still be a lot of visibility for all of the lights. You can also see a little marker light here on the back. So the clearance lights are all real small. Just got put in there with this Omni caulking. <coughs> Quad cocking. 
that we've been using on everything that's worked really well. Uh, so that's where we are. We got the exterior shower mounted here. Kind of have all of our plumbing stuff. The vent for the black and the gray tanks here. That's a it just has tape over it because of the raptor lining. Um, very low profile marine level vent and the vent for the water tank is here so as you're filling the water tank it would actually come out here so you know that it's full and then our other city connections so that's where we are for right now you'll probably notice there's no 120 volt electrical connection that is intentional um, the main thing we found that people are using 120 volts for are air conditioners and microwaves and TVs. And we're not planning on having any of the three of those right now. So everything is just 12 volt and we'll see how that goes. We may end up changing our mind if we go camping somewhere really hot and we want some air conditioning or something like that. But I, I doubt we're ever going to use a microwave or a television. So that's where we are. Again, as always, let me know if you have any questions about anything. Love to hear some comments, feedback. So I know I showed before that the trailer wouldn't fit into the garage with the suspension on here. So we put the furniture dollies underneath there to move the trailer around, to do what we need to do. My parents were incredibly awesome and helpful and it's really good to have people around you to help out. So my parents came down a couple weekends. You can see my mom taking video and my dad helping me with the jack here. and just helped us paint and help us organize and just helped us with so many different things. It was so nice of them to come down and give up their time. Obviously my wife, my partner in crime and the whole entire thing was vital in making sure this happened. We really had a great time, but you can see there's some struggles with getting things together. Okay. Now, yep. Yep. Okay. Hold on. No, hold on. I need another hand. Do you need me? I need to be younger. Do you want that little dolly under there? No. So you'll see here I'm using a center punch to get these holes lined up. Just so many people in my life have been so helpful for so many different things. And um, one of my mentors was Ed when I was working in the Valley in Turlock. Another guy who we worked for, Steve and Jay Swanson, just both great guys. Steve, unfortunately, no longer on this planet, but such an amazing human being. And really told me what it was like to help people out, to truly care about people, to help people. I will survive. Ed gave me so many life skills on how to work on things. Steve gave me a lot of life skills, but a lot of people skills on what it means to be okay. a, a really good human, caring human about other people. So I love making these videos. I love sharing with everybody else. And I feel like in a small way, kind of passing on what Steve would have liked and just helping people out, passing on what we know to other people. It did take a few more rest breaks than I'm normally accustomed to, but that's what happens as we get older, I guess. And we got the suspension back on, got everything fitted out, made a door, and within a few days got on the road. So the next video you'll see, we will be on the road and we'll give you an update of how the Otis is performing in real life, on the road, in real camping scenarios. As always, let me know what you think. Love to have any questions or interaction from anyone out there. Bam.